Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in this video I will be showing you 11 things you may not know about Minecraft. And the reason why it's not punching. I originally planned for it to be punching, but then I thought of another fact of Minecraft. So it's going to be 11 things. Number one. You can cure a zombie villager with a golden apple and this splash potion of healing. So, if you see, like, um, a zombie with a bigger head and a unibrow walking around, if you have a golden apple and a splash potion of healing, throw, throw this splash potion of healing and, and feed the golden apple to it with a right click, and then you'll slowly turn to a... Villager, a normal villager. Thing two. You can put a blanket on your bed in Minecraft. How your bed will look more realistic. And I'll show you how I did that. It can be any color, it doesn't have to be a rainbow color. I'll demonstrate with white wool or carpet. So you place your bed down, and if it's night time, you'll have to sleep in the bed with the carpet in your hand. If it's daytime, it'll say you can only sleep at night. So you have to press the left shift and right click the carpet on the bed, and then you'll have a blanket on your bed. And if you break the bed, as you saw there, um, the carpet will break. You can place the carpet here, as if it were like another pillow, or here, as if it were a blanket, or both, to make it look like some kind of a table, like maybe um, you'd sleep in the bed, but there would have to be a platform above the bed for like a play or something. That could be useful. Only it would require a bunch of wood and a bunch of wool for a whole day of bed. Number three. Beds will explode in the nether, but not in the overworld with nether surrounding the bed. So, let me just quickly set the time tonight here and I'll demonstrate. The bed will not explode in the overworld. We will. I thought the bed would not explode in the overworld. Let me try that again, folks. I might be wrong. Okay, so your bed will not explode in the overworld. But let me show you what it does in the nether. If it will even let me in the nether. Here we are in the nether with lagging it. Here we are. I I spawned in lava. Oh yeah, here's what I tried last time. The bed exploded. I'll show you uh I'll show you in this um I actually I'll show you in this area. As you can see, it exploded. And there is a chance that the the purple portal part might explode, and you might not have brought your flint and steel with you. And if the purple part exploded, you would be doomed. You would be trapped in the Nether for your life, for the rest of your life, the rest of your life. Yeah, you would be. Number four. Don't you dare break the blue block in the desert temple. The temple will actually look like a pyramid, I think. It won't look like this. It'll look like the pyramid. And you walk in. There are these orange blocks. And, and you can break the orange blocks. They're safe. Well, not in my demonstration they're not safe. But 
they are perfectly safe in the desert temple. The one I block hard. But, what, what happens when you break the blue block? You land on the pressure plate which activates TNT. The TNT explodes and you will die. I'm surprised I didn't die. I still have like full health. I might have lost some health. Um, when the TNT first blasted and exploded. Anyway, number five. Kitty cats don't, don't take full damage. And I will show you. Like, there's a legend that says cats have nine lives. And I think this is why. Oh, it's okay if you have, like, um, a sky den or a sky island challenge, like, ballistic squid on the Xbox does. If you have cats, and if they fall off, they won't die. They won't get hurt at all because they don't take fall damage. They're invincible when they fall. One blocker, no, yeah. Okay, so I have named these kittens really weird names. They're not, like, really my pet kittens, but there are demonstrations. The, the kitten who never slept, most educated kitten on earth, and the kitten from Arendelle. This used to be called the spirit of the kittens with us. And I will show you. I knock. Okay. Let's have restart. As you can see, um, the kitten from Arendelle and the most educated kitten on Earth, they fell, but they didn't take any fall damage. And that's cool if you live on, like, in this sky or somewhere up high, um, and you have pet cats, they won't take fall damage, but dogs will. So please make sure if you have a dog on the sky island, they don't fall off your resident. I know you're getting close to the triangle because the sky wants into a lighter and more tropical color. Did I just skip number six? Yeah. Okay. Six. Cats scare away creepers, but wolves will not scare or kill them. Number seven. You know you're getting close to a triangle because the sky wants into a lighter and more tropical colored blue. So, um, say if you're like in the overworld and like you're in the world with hills and valley and all that not like this world but the other world the default world and you're exploring and you want to get a cat from the jungle but um you don't know if you're getting close to the jungle or not because you probably have your render distance on you know, tiny, something like that. You can only look up at the sky. And when you get close to a jungle, there will be a line. Well, not really a line, an invisible line. And then the sky will turn to a more lighter and tropical colored blue. Number eight. You can't see water through ice through another block of ice. So basically what it's saying is there's a, another block of ice under this block and then there's water but you can't see um that block of ice but if i break it you you know that there's another block of ice if i break this block and but you can't see it over another layer of ice but you can see the water at the bottom and you can do that in a repetition and i think you would still see the water at the very very bottom number nine endermen hate water so it's best to live near a body of water so like if an enderman um goes in water it will teleport away or it will die if it's not smart enough to teleport away so it's best to live near like a valley um no, not a valley. Um, it's best to build your house and live near a river or a lake or a big pond or an ocean. So the enderman will stay away from you. You don't have to be... 
worry about them if you live near water. Number 10. If you fall from a very high place and land in one block deep water, it will kill you. I won't demonstrate that. I have my little diving board here. I will jump. Or no, or not. That fact was a lie. I think it's only on the Xbox when one block deep water will kill you. But on the PC as for right now, when you jump off a high place like my diving board here and land in shallow water like one block deep water, you will survive. Eleven, the final one. You can place slab on hex and still open them, but you can't place pressure blade on them. So, you can play any slab or combination of slab on single chest, double chest, any kind of slab on any kind of chest, and it will still open. Same with the beds and the carpet. You press shift with your slab in your hand, right click, and then this slab will be on the chest. And that is all of the stacks of Minecraft that I am showing you today. Like, comment, save, and subscribe. I hope you learned at least one thing. Like, comment, save, and subscribe. Bye!